So, Sarah, what's going on here? Sarah? Sarah. She won't answer you. Or she can't. Why not? This is the way it's been since she started smoking pot. She's all lazy and boring and... You know, we used to have so much fun together. And now? This is what we do. Hey, Lindsay. I wish you didn't smoke weed. You're not the same when you smoke. And I miss my friend. I'll be outside. Again, I'm you in 10 years. This is a problem. Marijuana affects brain development in teens. Even if we could see this as a problem, we wouldn't be able to focus long enough to get out of the problem. You follow me? I'm sorry, did, did you say something? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't let a high hold you back. Forget it. I don't watch my stories. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Is this yours? No, I'm... Your mother said she found it in your closet. I don't know. One of the guys must have... Must have what? Look, Dad, it's Where not... Where did you get it? Dad, Answer I... me. Who taught you how to do this stuff? You, all right? I learned it by watching you. Parents who use drugs have children who use drugs. Like that. Are you method or how does it go? Uh, not method, but I, I, you know, you have movie pot, which is basically... Is, do you really? Eight. You know, it's like whatever they roll. Tobacco, if you smoke cigarettes, they roll like herby stuff. If you, you know, not herb, but you know, like yeah. fake. Whatever. Oregano, oregano or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. whatever that Although is. that would be disgusting, I would imagine. That would be great. It's like smoking. smoking a pizza or something. <laughs> <laughs> now you make it sound delicious. Yeah. Um, but there was, we were doing this one scene where, you know, obviously in the movie I don't smoke that many, but when you're doing takes, you're doing one after the next, after the next. And I wasn't eating up that much at the time. Um, and so I, you know, after we were done with the scene, I went back to this little bedroom to rest. And I started to feel like I was losing my mind. I went to the bathroom. I'm pacing. I'm like Laura to the director. I'm like, there's something wrong with me. I think I need to go to the hospital. Like, there's something seriously up. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I'm shaking. I'm hot. I'm, I'm just flipping out. So one of the producers comes in. And they're like, how do you feel? I was like, I feel terrible. I don't know what's wrong with me. Da, 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 da. He goes back. He looks at all the, you know, everything that I smoked and makes sure everything's okay. He came back. He's like... Oh, you sm smoked a full blunt on one of the takes. And we're talking about Humboldt weed, okay? This is, I, like, I don't smoke full joints. This is like strong What happened? <laughs> one got in there somehow? What, well, they had locals roll the joints for us. Oh, yeah, you can't. You can never have locals. <laughs> I mean, and they just threw some in for fun. I was like, what? <laughs> I was... Dumb. I was like crying, <laughs> laughing, eating but a peanut butter sandwich. I couldn't film anymore. They sent me home. I was a total mess. I've never been that stoned in my entire life. I was so... And to not know you're that stoned is such a mind trip. I was like, I'll take me to mental it. Oh. And leads police on a chase more than 100 miles. The driver claims he had good reason to do it. Mm, in his mind. Shannon, here with more on the story. Tim Lauren, the driver, is not taking responsibility here. In fact, he called the chase a thrill. A traffic stop in Rockwall led to a chase through five counties, mostly along I-35. The driver reached 100 miles an hour and even went the wrong way at times. Several agencies pursued him. Eventually, deputies in McLennan County near Waco used spikes and fired several shots, causing the Mazda to crash. Fox 4's Zahid Arab followed the chase and spoke to the man behind the wheel. He says when police tried to pull him over, he took off because he had weed in his car. Dude, I was trying to get to uh, San Antonio. I, t I don't know what the f roads I was on until they shot my car. 
I didn't know they was going to shoot at me. Damn, they're shooting at me. I ain't even got no gun. So what is it something about having drugs? Huh? Did you have weed on you? Or yeah, I had weed on me. Yeah, I always got weed on me. Is that why you ran? Mm-hmm. I'm tired of getting arrested for weed. I'm tired of going to... I can't, I can't get a regular job ever anywhere because all my weed drives. You about the thrill of driving. Was that a thrill? The thrill was driving. It was definitely a thrill. You go fast in any car, race car, track, here. It's fun anyway to me. I'm just an adrenaline junkie. Wow, the driver identified himself as 26-year-old Jonathan Davis. During the chase, he says he stayed busy on Instagram and Snapchat. He could face a number of charges, one for sure, according to the McLennan County Sheriff, is felony evading arrest. We stopped a man uh, on his way back from Colorado, ended up, allegedly stopped the man for speeding, ended up searching his car, uh, took some uh, vape pens from him. No vape pen cartridges with THC? No? Yeah. You, 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 you act like dude, man. And within five minutes of releasing him, the trooper reached over and got that vape pen out of the seat and was nibbling on it to see what, what it tasted like. Went another 25 minutes down the road, pulled over on the shoulder of the road, and um, started hitting on it. The DA's office didn't tell us that. I accidentally inhaled THC, as stupid as that sounds. And I felt it fill up my lungs. I pushed it out as fast as I could, and there was smoke everywhere. i never seen anything smoke so much. I did not mean to inhale it. I mean, I smoked weed before the highway patrol. I told them whenever I, I came in, I told them all about that. That's embarrassing. I was wigged out. Basically, I got caught in his own trap. He videotaped on his own camera, tampering with evidence, as they called it. But what disturbs me is the Texas Rangers found 20 other cases where this trooper stopped somebody, took their contraband, their, their, their THC or their marijuana. Shut up.